Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. At least 22 are dead and dozens missing in a town in central Venezuela after a landslide fueled by flooding and days of torrential rain swept through. Sacramento police are investigating a Saturday afternoon stabbing that killed one man and seriously injured another. It happened around 5.30 Saturday afternoon on Broadway. An arrest has been made in a Wednesday shooting that injured a man on 13th and X streets. The suspect, 31-year-old Asia King was found in a tent near the area of W and 14th Street. She's now in the Sacramento County Jail. In Golden, Colorado, one person is dead and four hurt after a man drove a pickup truck through a crowd following an altercation outside a bar. The driver facing first-degree murder and assault charges. More than 13 years after an Air France jet plunged into the Atlantic, killing all 228 people on board, the French carrier and plane maker Airbus going to trial in a Paris court tomorrow has they face involuntary manslaughter charges. Experts say the roles of the pilots, sensor errors, and fatigue will all be key to the historic nine-week trial. The Lincoln Police Department is looking into signs of vandalism at the Cata Verdera Country Club. The club says that a number of tea signs were stolen, along with a crate of practice balls, and a number of putter greens were damaged. A volcano on the Italian island of Stromboli erupted this morning, unleashing a dramatic plume of smoke and a lava flow that reached the sea. No injuries or damages have been reported. The volcano is one of the most active on the planet and has been erupting constantly since 1932. Europe's energy crisis impacting Berlin's annual festival of lights this weekend. Brandenburg Gate among the 35 monuments illuminated down from 60 last year, an attempt to save energy. Festival organizers plan to use 75% less electricity. Firefighters to the rescue in West Fargo, North Dakota after a dog got stuck stuck in a storm sewer pipe. Crews were able to dig down, expose the pipe, and reunited Bentley with his family. Corgi owners and their furry companions gathered at the gates of Buckingham Palace in London today to honor the memory of Queen Elizabeth II. The late monarch owned nearly 30 corgis throughout her life. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.